now i i would like to discuss about the more effects of british rule on india to strengthen the british rule in india there was a need of bureaucrats children do you know who are called bureaucrats a bureaucrat is a member of a bureaucracy and can compose the administration of any organization of any size although the term usually connotes someone within an institution of government the term bureaucrat derives from bureaucracy which which uh derive from the french french word first known from the 18th century bureaucratic work had already been performed for many centuries in countries such as india pakistan and bangladesh bureaucrats are known to be the officers that run the government at ministerial level as well as at district levels lord cornwallis introduced bureaucracy civil services became an important part of the british government he restricted the private trade carried out by the company officers and for this purpose he increased their salary for the convenience of administration he divided the british occupied territories into district the district collector was the chief of district administration he was responsible for collection of revenue giving justice maintaining law and order the officers were appointed through competitive examinations known as indian civil service so children civil services became an important part of british government Lord Cornwallis introduced bureaucracy in India to strengthen the British rule in India. He restricted the private trade carried out by the company officers by increasing their salary. He divided the territories occupied by the British into district for administrative convenience. the district administration was headed by district collector the collector undertook work such as collection of revenue administration of justice and maintenance of law and order these officers were appointed through competitive examinations called indian civil services now i would like to discuss about the military and police force the duty of military was to safeguard to british occupied regions in india acquire new territories and break down any revolt against the british in india to maintain law and order in the country was the duty of the police force so children the military was responsible to protect the indian territories to secure new territories and to quell uprising or revolt against the british in india and the police force the duty of the police force was to maintain law and order within india 
now you will come to know about the judicial system the british established a new judicial system in england every district had a civil and criminal court to solve the local cases for reconsideration of their judgments a high court was established so children it was modeled after the judicial system in england a civil and criminal court were set up in every district and high courts were set up to reconsider the judgments of the district court now the next one that is equality before law in early times law in india differed from place to place there was difference in judgment on the basis of casteism after the leadership of lord macaulay a committee was set up to create the code of law the indian penal code was enforced all over british india with british principle of equality before law but there were some defects in it there were separate courts and different laws for the europeans new laws were difficult to be understood by common people legal cases became an expensive affair for the community and the cases remain pending for years together so children here i want to discuss about the merits and defects in judicial system a committee under the leadership of lord macaulay enforced indian penal code all over british rule india and it was based on the british principle of equality before law these were the merits of judicial system and the defects were there were separate laws and courts for the europeans common people did not understand the new laws and also justice was very expensive and time consuming as cases remained pending for years so children today i have discussed the subsidiary alliance in 1798 lord wellesley arrived in india as governor general his objective was to establish the british dominion all over india for this he signed the subsidiary alliance with many indian rulers also you have come to know the second and third anglo maratha war children you have come to know about chhatrapati pratap singh chhatrapati pratap singh of satara although the peshwa ship came to an end he was still ruling Britishers signed a treaty with Chhatrapati Pratap Singh and appointed Grand Duff as an officer and afterwards Chhatrapati was dethroned and exiled to Kashi Children then I have discussed about the British rule on India the effects of British rule on India you have come to know about the dual government system which was introduced by robert clive the company undertook the work of revenue collection whereas the nabab of bengal had to remain maintain the law and order then 
I have discussed about the parliamentary laws. You came to know the Pitts India Act. The act provided for appointment of a permanent board of control for better regulation and management of affairs of the East India Company in India. To strengthen the British rule in India, there was a need of bureaucrats. Here I have discussed about the Indian Civil Services exam. Then I have given you the in information regarding military and police force, the judicial system, the merits and defects of judicial system and also the British principle of equality before law. So children, now you should go through the topic from the beginning. You should read your textbook up to economic policies of the British in page number 12 you should read each and every point which I have discussed all are very important if you read your textbook carefully and if you follow the videos I think there will be no problem to understand the topic clearly. Thank you. Have a nice day. Stay safe. Stay healthy.